In the United States Army, the MOS of a 12 Romeo is an interior electrician. Now before we dive into this basic understanding of this MOS in the United States Army, maybe think about hitting that subscribe button and even enabling notifications so that you can join the notification platoon and get notified as soon as new videos go live, as well as live streams. So now let's talk about some of the basic job duties of a 12 Romeo in the United States Army. Those primary job duties are going to include things like working with circuit breakers, electrical boxes, as well as install and repair of electrical equipment. Now that can include interior buildings as well as generators as well. This MOS is available for all components, including active duty, National Guard, and reserves. To get into the Army, you are going to have to have a GED or a high school diploma, as well as take the ASVAB and get a qualifying AFQT score to qualify for the United States Army. But specifically, to qualify from an interior electrician, there is a specific score on the ASVAB that is going to qualify you for that MOS. That is going to come from the electronics section of the ASVAB, which will require a minimum score of a 93. Now, to make up that score in the electronics section, it is going to come from four subjects on the ASVAB. Those subjects are going to be general science, arithmetic reasoning, mathematics knowledge, and electronics information. Now the training to become a 12 Romeo in the United States Army is going to include the normal 10 weeks of basic training, and from there a soldier will go on to seven weeks of AIT at Fort Leonard Wood, Missouri. Now I have not dealt personally with a lot of individuals in this MOS, so I don't know a whole lot. I have seen some of them that are working with, like mostly with generators, but that's not always going to be the case. Now this is a 12 series MOS, so that means you are going to be a part of the engineers, so you'll probably be inside of an engineer unit working with electricity, you know, doing things while you know working with some of those carpenters in the engineer unit to provide electricity to some of these buildings or working on some of the generators. Now this MOS will probably provide you work to do in the field environment, in garrison, as well as in a combat zone. Probably in garrison though, you might find that some of this work is done by civilians. I constantly see like civilian electricians doing a lot of work with certain buildings, but there are going to be some instances maybe you're working with them, or maybe there's military functions that you know the contractors aren't going to be working on that the soldiers are going to have to work on. But a lot of like the main buildings on post are usually done by civilian electricians. But there are going to be other aspects of this where you are going to be working on some of those buildings on post. There are some times where I've seen like these MOS soldiers uh, working with the construction of buildings, working with some of those civilians alongside them as they'll have like the Corps of Engineers building this specific building. And a lot of those different MOSs in that engineer unit will be doing different aspects of that building to probably include the wiring the electricity for it or doing different things that you know are kind of fall in that realm of work. Now, as far as transitioning the job from the military to the civilian side, I would imagine it probably transfers quite well. There are a lot of opportunities for different certifications while you're in the army to get, to be able to take those with you to the civilian side to help you get into like electrical work jobs or be an electrician or maybe even starting your own business if that's what you wanted to do. So the training you're gonna receive in the army plus having that army background, that military background, is probably gonna help you with a lot of aspects in the civilian world to transfer this job over to the civilian side. So if any of you out there watching this video is currently a 12 Romeo in the United States Army or maybe previously were in the Army as this MOS, leave some comments down below. I'd love to hear from you what you liked about the MOS and what you did not like about the MOS. Now also, if there is an MOS in the United States Army that you're interested in, make sure to leave some comments down below as I do like to look to the comments to get inspiration to decide on which MOS to cover in the next episode of MOS Monday. So there you go. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. If so, make sure to hit that thumbs up. Check out some of the links I have down in the description for like social media and my PO box and much more. Also check out some recommended videos over there. Thanks so much for watching. I'm Christopher Chaos and I'll see you next time. See ya.